Drivold has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we actually don't have any new cars this week in the shop. And looking at the weekly quest, we have a bright new car, the Rally Hunter, and the Drag Pal is back again. And we have a new wrap over here, which is Hexa Panels for getting 25,000 miles per hour in a speed trap. And these weekly challenges are pretty basic, but we have two different challenges, one for USA barn finds and one for Japan barn finds. And I'll start off with showing you all the five parts in the USA map. But what's different about these is they're actually not barns this time, they're actually parts. And the first one is over here by the big tower. For the next part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And you'll want to go all the way to the top of this building right here. For the next part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And go around the hangar. For the next one, go over to this race right here, Turbine Circuit. And head up here to this ramp and you'll see the part right on the ramp. And for the last part of the USA map, head over to this spot right here, the desert. And you'll see the part right behind this ramp. And there you go, you'll be given 25,000. And now with that, let's head over to the Japan map and I'll show you the barns over there. First part at the very bottom of the map, you head over to the delivery food spot right here. And you'll see the part right over here. For this one, I'll get two parts in one. Head over to this race right here, Kerotoge. And you'll see the part right here. And now let's head down to the other part down here. And here it is right here. And just to help you out a little bit, this is the exact spot on the map. For the next part, head over to this race right here. And you'll see the part in the water over here. And for the very last part in Japan, head over to this place right here. And you'll see it right in this gas station. And as you can see, this is the first week which has no barns at all. And with that, let's go grind the rest of these weekly challenges and check out this new Rally Hunter. And there we go, we have finished all the weekly challenges, and now let's collect them and check out this new Rally Hunter. And at stock, it has a horsepower of 574 and a score of 583. And before we get into the customizations, this is what the new wrap looks like. It's kind of similar to Jeweled.
When this car is maxed, it has a score of 1,235 and a horsepower of 1,303. And the acceleration of this car is really good and it's able to get around 280 miles per hour. And heading into the shop, you can see that they have added effects like wraps, backfire, nitrous that you can buy for Robux if you didn't earn these before. And as these were added, they actually put a sale on all of them for 4th of July. And this also is the same for the car packs. And now back to the Hyper 1. If you go into body, you can see that they have added a brand new body kit called the GT. So if you like this more on it, you can use this. And now on to electric cars. If you go into shop, you can see that you can now engine swap them and you'll be able to put all these other parts onto them. And for the last thing we have, we have some brand new license plates added. And I think those are the ones that were added. I'm not too sure. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update. And I'll see you in the next video.